Hey you guys, just want to apologize for the delay in making this video. I know we said it would originally be out last weekend, but we got sidetracked finishing up this easy installer that we've been talking about for a while. And also, I want to apologize if you hear any mouse clicks or keyboard clicks, there's not a ton I can do about it to filter it out right now. But anyway, we heard the comments that uh, QuickBMS was very difficult to use for a lot of people. While it's a very powerful tool and the creator of it has been extremely helpful to us, uh, helping us get up and running with it so that we can make a lot of these mods. We understand that it's not for everyone, so we finished up or are still kind of developing this easy installer. We're going to demo it for you guys today. A couple quick things. This is not going to have any kind of download link to this mod you're about to see. Uh, we're still finishing it up. You should have the Dynasty Mode V2 mod, which will be in this easy installer format within the next two or three days. Uh, so you guys can try it out for yourselves and see how easy it really is. And another thing is I see some people struggling with this, uh, especially if they're doing something like setting up PS3 Hen. They're getting to the point where they need to pick the firmware file they want to install, and it's telling them that there are no firmware files. And this is because they don't have file extensions enabled. So they downloaded something like ps3updat.pup, and they see that it's missing the .pup. So we'll go and rename it .pup, right? The issue is what you've really just done is named it .pup.pup. So the PS3 isn't going to see that it's the proper file. So what you want to do, let's get rid of that now. What you want to do is just open up your file explorer if you're on Windows, which is right here. Click on View. And make sure this little box is checked off right here, file name extensions. And then you'll see also our PKG, our easy installer is a PKG file, so you can now see that file extension. And if you're on a Mac, which now again with the easy installer, there's no real difference between Mac and Windows. It's just as easy to do on Mac as it is on Windows. But anyways, these are the instructions from Apple's support page on how to enable file extensions on Mac OS. Uh, so there's that. If shouldn't be hard to enable at all from that description but anyways I'm going to first show you guys some gameplay or yeah I guess some gameplay on RPCS3 and then on Xenia I don't have a capture card at the moment and I don't even have a PS3 at the moment so it's difficult for me to capture footage on the actual consoles but uh, hopefully I can get one soon and potentially show you guys or get someone who has a capture card and show you guys some actual footage of doing this on the actual console so we're going to launch RPCS3, and just to show you guys really quickly what it looks like normally, give it a second to load up. And also, don't worry if you're on RPCS3, if you see version 1.02 or 1.0, and you don't have to worry about this on an actual PS3 either. Our mod will, if you're on 1.0, it'll automatically update you to 1.02, and if you're on 1.02, it'll see that, and it'll keep you on 1.02. So there's no need to worry about that at all on Xbox. On the Xbox version of the game, you don't really need to worry about it at all. There's no major differences between uh, the base game and the update. But anyway, this is the normal vanilla game, essentially. Uh, the roster is different, which is why you'll see the team colors are different. And it says Appalachian State Mountaineers because uh, we've actually partnered up with Vikes Fan and his team. If you guys have ever used any decent rosters for NCAA 14. They probably came from him and his team. They put countless hours each year into making sure everything about every player on every team is as accurate as possible, and they update it throughout the year. They've done amazing work, so they're actually working with us, and they are making a CFBR-specific roster that will have all these changes. It'll have the proper team colors for everything. It'll have proper rivalries uh, for Appalachian State and for example, Georgia Southern, and it'll also have just everything, it'll, it'll just be a companion roster for us. But anyways, uh, as you'll see, there's currently lots of issues with the logos. They're dated, they're washed out, the color, I'm not sure how well the pixelation will come across on YouTube, but uh, they're pixelated. And just a couple I know in particular are rough, are Florida. As you can see, it's very pixelated, and if you look at the registered icon in the bottom right corner, you'll see it's doubled up. This was a mistake that was obviously made by someone when they were adding the logo uh, at EA back in 2013, and it still was never fixed. So up until now, you've, if you're a Florida fan, you've been stuck with that. I'm sh I know it's a minor thing, but we're trying to fix all these little minor things about the game. 
Uh, and then another one that I know is problematic off the top of my head is Kansas. So if you look in the top right corner, you'll see a little black speck that's obviously not supposed to be there. Uh, and again, this one's just a little pixelated. Uh, not the biggest deal in the world, but again, the very small things that I'm sure has driven Kansas fans nuts. Uh, or maybe it hasn't, I don't know. But anyway, so we are now going to apply the mod. So up to this point, this is what people have been able to do normally. So we're going to install the RPCS3 easy installer. And on RPCS3, it is as simple as taking this PKG file that you'll download from us and dragging it and dropping it. It'll say, it'll ask you if you want to install, click yes, and it'll install. And while it's installing that, just to show you guys how you're going to install it on, uh, on PS3, what you are going to do is on Windows or Mac OS, go to your USB drive, you'll need a USB drive, and what you want to do is you're going to take that PKG file and drag it into the root of your USB drive. That means it's not inside any other folders. So it's not, if you have a games folder, you don't want it in there. If you have a rosters folder, you don't want it in there. It will not work if you do that. You want to drag it and drop it into the root and let that copy. I'm going to cancel it for right now just so I don't have to uh, wait for it to finish copying. But once that's done, it's as simple as going to your PS3 that hopefully has multi-man enabled or uh, head enabled. And what you'll do is just follow these steps. You will go to uh, your package manager, which I believe Mr. Mario is about to show us on your main menu. Go down to install package files and then go down to standard. And right here, instead of seeing uh, multi-man, you're going to see the CFBR, easy installer, whatever it's going to be called. So you'll just select that. It'll install. It'll take a little while. It's not going to be as quick as this one because it's going to be a larger file size. But that'll be it. It's like now we have this message successfully installed. We're going to launch our game again. And if you're on PS3, uh, you would just go to Multiman and launch your game through there like you would normally. And again, hopefully we will have actual footage to show you the full process on PS3 and Xbox soon. I know some of our contributors have capture cards on different uh, different consoles. Anyway, if we go here, we now see we have Appalachian State. And all of our logos just look sharper. Hopefully they come across well on YouTube. I know it can be tough with the compression, but they're sharper, they're updated, they're accurate. Uh, let's go to those two that we specifically looked at. Florida, as you can see, no longer has the double register logo. Uh, it's much sharper and cleaner, and the colors are more accurate. Uh, we use team color codes for these colors and just apply a gradient and shadow to them, so they should look nice. Oh, and let's go to Kansas as well to show you guys that that's gone. As you can see, Kansas no longer has that issue that we saw earlier. And now I'm actually going to start a dynasty to show you guys some of the uniforms and field changes and uh, everything like that. This is just going to be for App State. And again, this isn't going to be part of the mod that's released. The mod that's released is going to be uh, team logos, conference logos. Uh, I'm not sure if bull logos are going to be updated yet because that's uh, something we're working on right now. But anyway, right now this is only configured to work with Dynasty mode, but of course the final version will be configured, let's delete that one, that was a test, will be configured to work with, uh, with Play Now and Dynasty, of course. So let's start an offline Dynasty, and as you can see, we have the National Championship logo there, uh, added an FBS Independence logo, you can see all the new conference logos we added, ACC, which unfortunately didn't make the cut in the game, it came out, I believe, the year after the game came out. Uh, Everything here is updated. Sunbelt, who just released their new logo. Anyway, let's actually let's actually put App State in Sunbelt for this. All right, so let's start our dynasty. And one thing you're going to notice on the PS3 version of the game, not the PS3, the RPCS3 version of the game and on emulators in general is that the simming is much faster uh, 
real quick, I'm just going to make the first game a home game so you guys can see. So that's week one. So you can see the updated field, everything. So you'll notice that the simming is significantly faster uh, just because the hard drives that are in the original PS3s and Xbox 360s are very, very slow, uh, especially compared to modern storage devices we have. So that's actually something that I'm pretty sure on both consoles you can fairly easily replace uh, if you have if you know anyone that knows how to do that it's not difficult like installing an rgh or a jtag on an xbox you just need a screwdriver and to buy a to buy a hard drive or an ssd off somewhere so anyways I'll show you guys the jersey options we have uh, and as you can see there are some names that are wrong like gold 2 which is the leftover name from the iowa helmet or idaho helmet it's really a black helmet that will all be fixed uh Everything will be named appropriately, including we'll also have proper uh, proper glove color, proper fan color, proper shoe and equipment color. That just didn't make the cut for what we are doing for this quick little demo. But rest assured, it will all be fixed. Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show. Anyways, as you can see, we moved App State outside. Uh, the Sun Belt logos are incorrect, obviously. Those will be updated and rotated to be facing the right way. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. And, of course, the Sun Belt logos will need to be updated on their jerseys, but... This is our recreation off, of App State, the in the air this which will football. be nice. And of course, and some the rosters aren't complete. Uh, Vikes fans' and team is the hard at work. At the and he but that's essentially it, the, the update that we want to show you guys. So I'm going to close this down really quickly and show you guys the slightly different uh, process that we're going to be using for Xbox. So here, if we launch Xenia, which is the Xbox emulator, open desktop we're going to select our xbox 360 game folder and we are going to select our uh, xex file and we're going to boot that give it a second to load up EA sports it's in the game oh, and as you can see the logos are the original dated ones that are washed out and don't look amazing so we're going to close this now and all we're going to do is open up our xbox easy installer folder and here we only have one file but uh when the mod is complete and you have everything it'll probably be somewhere from four to five we're going to drag this into our nca football xbox version and we're going to say yes we want to replace the files in there let that finish let's load it up again boot the same XEX file, uh, and you won't have to worry about knowing what the XEX file does and everything on an Xbox console, that's just EA the Sports. emulator the for the Xbox 360 is currently in an early stage. So it should be able to recognize game folders, but anyway, now if we go to see our logos, should all be updated, just like they were before. Uh, I didn't apply the app state or any other mods here, but you get the idea. It's much easier to use mods now. It's literally drag and drop. Uh, it should be hard to mess up in this case. So hopefully that was this will help more people realize that using these mods is attainable and it's not difficult to install. It's just we need time, obviously, to work on everything and get everything ready and package it up. So uh, like I said, we'll have some more demos hopefully coming out on this channel and we'll also have a lot of tutorials on how to do things like make chrome helmets make matte helmets create your own jerseys edit fields to look how you want move teams to different stadiums move them inside or outside uh, lots of cool things that you can do with ncaa 14 now so we'll have lots of tutorials coming out on this channel uh, and we also have lots of previews of different jerseys and stuff that we're working on that are out on our twitter and instagram uh, which is at CFB revamped for both. So feel free to go ahead and check both of those out. And hopefully this, again, like I said, this shows you that this is a lot easier to do now. Uh, this is, we're just in, still in the early stages of this.